I am a maker. A maker is an innovator. A maker is someone who wants to bring about change for the better. A maker thinks outside the box and says, I can make this. A maker may decide to build a piece of furniture, like a coffee table or a bookcase. A maker may also decide to quietly paint a picture or write a short story for their children. Makers enjoy projects of every shape and size. I can guarantee that there are dozens of you here today that should consider themselves makers. My name is Tom Frederick, and I'm a PhD student in mechanical engineering, and I would consider myself a serial maker. <laughs> I always have a long list of projects that I want to work on, and I look forward to the challenges that each project presents. Working on these projects are some of my favorite ways to spend my free time. While I enjoy the thrill of creating and innovating, there's a limit to my resources. There comes a point that I hit that brick wall of what I can reasonably accomplish on my own. The internet can teach us many great things, but without local access to machines and tools, many of those interesting projects may never become reality. Recently, I wanted to build a wine rack. I didn't have the right tools, how was I going to finish this project? Fortunately, I could, knew of a tool I could borrow, but that is not always the case. As a community, our local access to tools is going to drastically change in the coming months. This shift in tool availability is the day that the Lincoln Makerspace opens on Nebraska Innovation Campus. This is a space to take classes ranging from landscape painting pinhole camera making to advanced robotics. A whole generation of makers is likely to show up just to pick up where they left off in shop class 20 years ago. A maker space is to creativity and innovation much as the YMCA is the exercise in health. Members form ad hoc teams and work together toward a common goal. Now think about this maker space for a moment. You have people from every background imaginable coming together to work in a shared space. A fifth grade English teacher might come in to explore 3D printing technology and strike up a conversation with a professional engineer about the latest technological advancements. A local artist might teach a class on oil painting to 20 strangers. Starting the conversation between the artist, the computer programmer, and the auto mechanic, three people who may never have crossed paths otherwise, is one of the key goals behind any makerspace. That conversation will lead to even further growth and innovation. As proof that this intermixing of disciplines can lead to results that neither party could even have imagined, I have my own experience with local artist Charlie Friedman. A little over a year ago, I was in, my research advisor introduced me to Charlie about a project. This sketch was what Charlie had. It was my job to make it move. <laughs> we went through several iterations, and during that process, I started to understand some of the perspectives and the viewpoints of the artist, while Charlie started to learn about the physics behind his sculpture. This was the result, a 12-foot tall whirl of more than a hundred beach balls. This collaboration, this connection was made before the makerspace existed. But it is a great example of the type of collaboration that can exist in a community of makers. This space is not just about building world-changing products or the next big thing. It is about be building whatever can be imagined. It's about that eureka moment when you say there has to be a better way. I had one of these eureka moments about two years ago as I helped set up for a robotics tournament in Omaha. Since I was younger and generally assumed to have the best back and knees, I was rightfully given the task to tape the cords to the ground. If you have ever taped cords down, you know it can be a tedious job. There had to be a better way. Using a laser cutter and some hardware store parts, I ended up with this tape dispenser. Fully functional, and to this day, I keep at least one of them in my trunk. 
just in case. <laughs> to many, the value of a tape dispenser may not be evident. But to me, I love it. And I wouldn't have it any other way. Build things that you feel passionate about. And build things that you will use and enjoy, regardless of how anyone else may view it. It's one of the key ideas behind making. So as this makerspace opens, what then? Lincoln begins making. A group may come together and decide to design and build a custom coffee table instead of buying one made elsewhere. Members may come in and paint a new picture or learn a new skill. As many in the audience can attest, being a lifelong learner is much easier when you only go to classes that are interesting. The opening of this makerspace has a greater impact of empowering the people of this community to be the reason that Lincoln moves forward for the better. They can solve everyday problems. And some of these solutions will undoubtedly lead to startup companies and innovative products. This access to tools will empower everyone to be the reason that their lives improve every day. So I call you to go out and seize the day and not just be the change, but to go out and build that change. <laughs>